Hey there, everybody who's tuning in. Um, and hey, Amanda, how's it going? Hey, Taylor. Good. How are you doing? Pretty good. I um, just realized as starting my stream, I am out of coffee. Oh, no. I'm locked in, though. It's okay. <laughs> um, and um, But otherwise, pretty good. Um, so what are we doing today? <laughs> oh, boy. Well, um, today we are going to be working through um, getting Pressbooks up and running in Reclaim Cloud for me. Um, and Taylor is going to be walking me through this as one would walk a child through um, tying their shoelaces um, because uh, I really wouldn't know how to do this on my own. So uh, we wanted to take advantage of this um, learning opportunity uh, and share it with you know whoever might be interested um, out there. Well, and I don't, um, I know you're being modest, um, so, um, what I want to mention is I spent a little bit of time mostly yesterday, kind of just making sure we could do the press book specific things. I know you're relatively comfortable at the command line. So, um, that's going to be basically what we'll be doing today. Like from a process standpoint, we'll be deploying WordPress on Reclaim cloud, which is like a one click thing. And then doing a few command line things to have the press book stuff work and so it should be pretty straightforward. Like I said, I did some testing yesterday, and that's what I'm bringing to this is the testing I did yesterday. Yes, <laughs> um, awesome. So. I'm really excited. I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna be great. Let's do it. So let's let's dig right in. I'm gonna uh, throw your screen up, and what? Um, so man is already logged into um, Reclaim Cloud, of course. Um, what I'm going to have you start with is just by using the marketplace button and we're going to use the, um, uh, if you go to content management, we're going to use the WordPress standalone kit. Um, and so most of this stuff we can leave just by uh, as it is, but we are going to want to check the WordPress multi-site network button. Okay. Because uh, Pressbooks has to work as a network, which, I mean, given what it is, makes sense. Um, and uh, why don't you give it like a nicer URL? Yeah. Okay, and we can go ahead and hit install. And that's going to take, you know, four or five minutes in some mm -hmm. cases. It's It's actually doing kind of a lot. The standalone kit is interesting in reclaim cloud because it's um it is uh one node so like one container and it's setting up a database setting up um a uh light speed web server which is uh light speed is like uh compatible with apache which is what we use on domain one's own shared hosting and powers a lot of the web um light speed is really good at caching though and making things super super fast um doing all of that, it's going to do a multi-site network. And we are going to have to, after this goes in, do some things with the PHP version, do some things with the version of WordPress it's running, and um, then install Pressbooks. So, um, awesome. but while it's while it's doing that, um, do, uh, do we want to maybe uh, talk a little bit about Pressbooks generally? I mean, I, I imagine a lot of people who maybe are clicking on this, if, they, if anyone ever does, <laughs> um, do know what Pressbooks is, but but it's probably worth explaining what it's what it is, what it's good for. Totally. Um, so Pressbooks is an open source uh, publishing platform specifically for um, ebooks. It's it's a flavor of WordPress that um, is particularly good at making uh, open educational resources, essentially, um, into specifically that are textbooks. Um, and that's certainly how I'm familiar with it and how I used it. Um, in my first ever position post uh, um, undergrad, I uh, worked as an uh, OER publishing coordinator for the State University of New York system. And that entire system was built around using press books. And, um, what we loved about it was how not only does it have this great 
interface uh, online for displaying an open textbook, but it also um, really helped us provide print versions of those textbooks for um, institutions that wanted them. You know, I was working with 64 campuses across the SUNY system and um, some professors really wanted their students to have print access at least to print versions of their their open textbooks that they were using in their classes. And so we were able to um, produce those using press books at um, a very low cost when we factored in the rest of our resources that um, that produced those books. So it has been a little while since I've I've worked with press books. So um, now that I have this opportunity to kind of revisit it as a reclaim person, um, I am really excited to kind of dig into it and see if it's changed um, and, you know, see its potential beyond the very limited scope with which I was using it initially. Yeah, I I think it's, I, I really love the, um, like the ecosystem that potentially exists with something like Pressbooks, you know, the fact that we can use this huge and powerful CMS like WordPress to make, you know, OERs and they can kind of build this system off the back of some of something like WordPress that is so pervasive, right? Yeah. Um, it's got WordPress has got to be one of the largest open source projects just in general, not just web projects, right? Yeah. Um, but um, so that's really cool. Um, and I, I also really dig some of the minutia. Um, I, I don't have a ton of experience actually using Pressbooks. I just just a very small a bit, small amount. But um, like the the ability to you know clone books from other press Pressbooks instances and bring them into your instances that is really awesome stuff. Um, that um, I, honestly I would love to have a feature like that that was just for pre for like WordPress proper. Like could could you? It would be amazing if you could take a page or a post in WordPress and say, this is clonable. Yeah. And then someone could bring that in and do that for course content. That, that would be well, I think that that's what's really cool about when like products that are working or platforms that are working within open source. So this is something that just seems to be thematic of um, open uh systems. So, you know, the fact that Pressbooks offers that, I know that um, Commons in a Box Open Lab offers clonability. Yeah. I think it's a really powerful uh, aspect of, of working open as being able to kind of make sharing easier. For sure. For sure. Um, so uh, I think it's almost done. Actually, I'm pretty sure I can see that it is done. But before we actually get back to the install, I do mm -hmm. want to do one quick little overview of Pressbooks it's, itself instructions here. So we can just kind of take a look at, um, you know, I mentioned already sort of our workflow is going to be we're going to deploy WordPress. We're going to do a couple things. We're going to install Pressbooks. Right. Um, but I just want to kind of compare that here and talk a little bit about like generally the environment of running Pressbooks um, because there are a few things to know about. So this is Pressbooks um, own install guide and I have to do something really quick because I forget. I have this bug on my Mac where the pointer when I share my screen is never in the right place unless I do something. It's, it's amazing. Uh, oh, love Mac OS. Nice. Do not like this bug I've had for years um, <laughs> or a year, I guess. Um, okay, now it's good. Um, so. Um, okay, so this is their install guide. And basically the very core of Pressbooks is just you need a WordPress multi-site and then you do some stuff with it. Um, so their instructions kind of include like, hey, use PHP 7.4. And then they say, usually the most recent version of WordPress is supported. That usually is doing a lot of work here. Um, we'll talk about it a little bit later. Mm -hmm. um, and so their instructions are, all right, install WordPress from scratch. Um, and create enable multi-site mode. And here's how you enable multi-site mode. So this whole part we can basically skip because we just did that right. um, in Reclaim Cloud. You could also do this part in cPanel in Installatron um, and you would mark the, hey, I want to do a multi-site. That's one of the options in Installatron. Mm -hmm. That would work. Um, 
we are going to have to, in my testing, I found that either PHP 7.4 or PHP 8.0 works. Um, so in, the, uh, in both cPanel and Reclaim Cloud, it's actually pretty easy to swap PHP versions. So I think we're going to go with 7.4 just because that's what they have listed on their website, and I did get that to work. There could be some thing later on down the line, probably not today, but maybe in a follow-up stream that if we're doing other things that maybe 7.4 is still preferred for some reason. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go with their recommendation there. And then I also found that uh, WordPress 6.1.2, I think is the version as of today, is not supported. So we're going to use 6.0.3. And I found that by digging through their plugin files and reading their code. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't have that documented, um, unfortunately. Um, but um, I think they do support maybe 6.1. I've, I've heard from folks that it can work on that version too, but I, I'm just going to go with what they have written somewhere for the, for the moment. And yeah. part of why we're doing this today is so that we at Reclaim can kind of learn a little bit more about, or at least like the two of us can learn a little bit more about like what works and what doesn't um, mm -hmm. properly. Um, once we have this set up in Reclaim Cloud, it'd be really easy for us to duplicate it and, you know, make changes, see what breaks, stuff like that. So down the line. Um, so then this part uh, is stuff that we will do. This is the Pressbook stuff. And really what it amounts to is installing a plugin and two themes, basically. Um, then it's just kind of some, you know, setup of like what you want to call your Pressbooks. Uh, site and stuff like that. Um, this part, part three, this is not, we're, we're not going to get into this today. Um, this though is important to know, this is the main reason why you might want to do this in Reclaim Cloud and not in cPanel. So Pressbooks to do, to make all of the non-web versions of your book, so PDF, uh, EPUB, um, XML val validation I think has to actually do with copying um, books between Pressbooks networks. Um, all of these require a server that you have root access to, to install these dependencies. And um, in many of them also don't play super well in a cPanel environment. We have experimented with that at Reclaim in the past, but we've had issues with um, making sure that this stuff can stay up to date in the same, in the way it needs to and not conflict with other things that are happening on the server. So this is why if you want any of these export features and a lot of the stuff that makes Pressbooks unique other than the look and feel and the publishing like experience, mm -hmm. that will all get. This stuff though, um, we're gonna wait on today. Um, I, basically, we just have to do a little bit more testing and see exactly, I don't wanna waste anyone's time on a stream with us trying and making mistakes for 45 minutes. I mean, sometimes that's all right, but um, today we're gonna stick with what we know, so. Yeah. But because we're doing this Reclaim Cloud, we'll have the ability to do this stuff um, down the line. Um, and maybe we do a follow-up where we install these things on your uh, Pressbooks install. Totally. So yeah, so that's that's um, the whole thing. Um, I'm going to uh, take my screen away here, and we'll check out where you're at in Reclaim Cloud. So yeah. OK, so it's deployed. It's all done. There's the URL for it. Um, you also should have gotten an email. Um, with this same stuff available. I'll say right now, um, Amanda, what I like to do is kind of copy this and put it in a text file somewhere or just pull your email up so you have it um, because we will need the credentials for logging into uh, WordPress, of course. Okay, one second. I have to periodically blow into my mouse because my cat hair gets all over it. Okay. All right. All right. So um, you were saying I, I should copy which you can you, Yeah, you can copy the uh, admin panel section. Um, or Here. like if you have the email up, you can just you don't have to bring it on screen, of course, right? Mm -hmm. um, and we will also change this after we're done with the stream. <laughs> yes. So, um, Yeah. So cool. Um, so why don't you just click the open in browser button? Okay. 
Um, and we will, yep, it's working. So let's try log in here um, to this WordPress install. With those credentials that I saved. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, awesome. So, so currently the way the standalone kit works on WordPress is it deploys 6.0. Um, the, the, um, installer for this gets updated periodically and it's, it's not a big deal cause you can always, we're not going to do this right now, but you can mm -hmm. always hit the please update now button and it will go to the latest version of WordPress. Mm -hmm. Um, so Pressbooks wants 6.0.3. I tried on 6.0 uh, and the plugin won't activate. So we, okay. what we need to do is we need to manually update WordPress to 6.0.3. And there is, you can't do that in the WordPress uh, interface. You hit update, it's gonna go to 6.1.1. So this is where we're gonna start with the terminal. So if you wanna close and you can um, open up the terminal in the app server node. App server node. Yeah, so the terminal. There you go. Yeah. And um, just for um, anyone who's watching who's not familiar with uh, Reclaim Cloud, the if you hover over the app server, this and then the node right below it, those are the same thing. I do not know why they label them that way. It seems like it looks like it's two things. It, it is not. Um, <laughs> So it's weird. <laughs> um, Good to know. Yeah. So uh, I just wanted to point that out because it's one of those little oddities that's very strange. Oh, I forgot. We have to do one thing before we even do this. I'm sorry. I took mm -hmm. notes, but they're not great. So um, there'll be a lot of, oh, I forgot, I think. That's fine. Um, we do have to change the PHP version. Um, you can actually mm -hmm. see under WordPress, it says 6.0.12. That's the WordPress version. Um, sorry, on the in the tags column uh, near the middle. Ah. Um, and then it says PHP 8.1. We definitely mm. can't use PHP 8.1, or at least okay. I don't think we can. So um, if you go up to the WordPress standalone kit um, title, ah, okay. let's actually change that if the little pencil icon to something, press books or something. Cool. Um, and then uh, the third button in, that is change environment topology. This is where we can change our PHP version. So if you change over on the right side, it says of, um, sorry, in the middle column next to LLSMP. Yep, there, we can change PHP there. Change the tag and scroll down. We're gonna want, we're gonna go with 7.4, 7.4.28. Like okay. I said, um, I had tested it with 8.0. It does seem to work fine, but that's what they have documented. So I'm gonna, we're gonna go with that. Okay. This will take a little bit because it's technically, it's kind of wild. The way Reclaim Cloud does things is it's not actually reinstalling WordPress because we checked that box that said keep volumes data. Where WordPress is installed, that's, um, it's a folder called, uh, that's var www web root root. Yep. It's actually leaving that alone. Um, so like the database, not that we've done anything, right? But right. it's going to leave it alone. What it's actually doing is it's reinstalling the operating system around that, which like completely, um, <laughs> which is kind of wild to me as um, somewhat of a Linux nerd. Um, that That is kind of wild that it can just do that. But um, so what it's doing is it's reinstalling the OS around it with one that has PHP 7.4 installed. So... Cool. This will take another minute or so, uh, maybe even two minutes, because it's kind of a big thing we're asking it to do. Um, unfortunately, there's no good way that I know of to tell it to do this when we first install it. You kind of have to, when you use install the marketplace, it, um, yeah, when you use the marketplace installer, it's going to assume you want the latest right. version of PHP. So it's just one limitation of the platform. Um, but it is at least pretty straightforward to do. We don't have to actually like 
go into like the package manager and like yeah. uninstall PHP or anything like I that? I was I was fully prepared to have to dig in to change the PHP. So it was very, very neat that we could just go into that topology interface and just do a little drop down thing, press yeah. another button. That's what I like about about Reclaim Cloud. It's well, it's a little scary uh, because it's a little <laughs> different, but for the most part, it's it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, and honestly, Amanda, that's I spent a lot of time yesterday figuring out how to manually reinstall the PHP version before I found what I just showed you. So oh my. <laughs> I did not know. And this is stuff like I get like sometimes folks in Discord will ask me reclaim cloud questions and they're like, You're the expert. I'm like, um, well, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning. Yes. Um, You're the expert I, learner. I'm, I'm, yes, I'm very good at learning things and then <laughs> being honest when I don't know things. Um, yes. So um, let's, um, this is a small suggestion. Let's take your terminal and move it up a little bit so we got more uh, room to see things when we make mistakes. Oh, that's weird. I guess hit reconnect. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, because we just reinstalled the operating system. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. I guess that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, what we're going to do first is let's just go back to the tab you have WordPress in, just make sure everything's loading. Um, sweet. All right. Awesome. Good. All right, let's go back to Reclaim Cloud. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the web directory um, that WordPress installed in. So, again, you can CD into... Uh, var www and it will need a slash at the front actually okay and then it'll be web root slash root all caps cool and if you just do an ls for a sanity check here we can make sure there's there's wordpress great yeah. um so the standalone kit has the wp command line tool installed which makes updating and changing versions of WordPress like one command instead of having to like manually go and download it and stuff. So that's really cool. So what we're going to do is WP space core space update and then space dash dash version and then it equals and then 6.0.3. 6.0.3. That's it? And, yep, hit enter. There we go. So it just replaced uh, version of WordPress with 6.0.3. Let's go back to WordPress, make sure yeah. it is actually running that. There we go. Learn more about the 6.0.3 version. Great. Cool. Um, I guess we could also, might as well do an upgrade network. I don't, there's no other sites in the network, but let's do it anyway. <laughs> cool. And I guess while we're here yeah. too, let's go and update our themes and plugins too. Oh my. None of which we're of course going to use, but it's fine. The plugins we will, um, not kismet so much, but the light speed cache will leave enabled that that works great. Um, and it makes everything extremely fast. So cool. Um, we are all set. And let's go back to uh, Reclaim Cloud. And now we're going to go and get the Pressbook stuff. So um, I don't think I can, yeah, I'm gonna switch over to my screen for a second. Mm -hmm. um, so they recommend going and getting the Pressbooks stuff and like uploading it there and unzipping it. We're yeah. gonna do this all via the command line because it'll save us a lot of time. Um, yeah. But what we do need to do is get um, the actual um, install um, URLs that we're gonna have to download from. And okay. those are all in GitHub. And um, so I will, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be a lot of me reading you URLs. Um, <laughs> but instead of, instead of doing that, actually, you know what I'll do is I'll just copy these links and I will put them in our own little uh, private chat here, here in StreamYard so you can gotcha. grab them. So the first thing we'll do is get Pressbooks itself. So, this one is a plugin. Um, so what we need to do is CD into WP content, and then um, CD into plugins. Okay, and then LS. I, I just 
Yeah. Do do we need to do that? No. This is my paranoia. It's just a, it's just a <laughs> comfort thing. It's funny when I ask people to do things at the terminal, I realize my like things that I do without thinking right. about them and like LS enters just like in Automatic. my brain apparently. Mm -hmm. Um so um, what we're going to do is we're going to use wget to download. Um, we could use curl. Um, wget is simpler when you just need to download a thing. So wget space, and then if you want to paste in that uh, URL I put in StreamYard. Can do. And enter. Okay, um, and now we're going to unzip it. So unzip is the command, space, and then if you just start typing pre and then hit tab, it'll complete it and then enter. Look at it go. Sweet. OK, so now we'll ls again just to look at what we got. Um, great. Um, so it did install it to, or it unzipped to its own little press books yeah. folder. So that's awesome. We actually can leave that exactly how it is. Great. Let's get rid of the zip file just because. So if you want to rm and then uh, pr and let it autocomplete tab thing. Oh, yeah, I guess because there's a folder called Pressbox. Yeah. All right. And then hit enter. Um, great. So now let's go uh, up a directory if you want to see the dot dot. And then we're going to go into. Oh, actually, so one of the things I forgot um, in the Pressbooks documentation is they want us to go and. Um, so it says copy the um, Pressbooks plugin. We also need to, there's an auto loader file that we need to, we need to make as a must use plugin. I think that's what MU stands for in WordPress multi-site. So we have to make the MU plugins folder and then copy a file uh, into it. Okay. Um, so mkdir. Uh, from the, from where we are now in WP content? Yes. And then um, mu dash plugins and then enter. And then we're gonna do a CP. And then uh, plugins um, slash pressbooks slash hm, and then you could probably hit tab. Yeah, and then we're gonna go to mu dash plugins. Okay, now to do that, and we're using the cp command. Do I just yeah? So you can in? literally type in mu dash plugins okay. now, and then. Um, slash hm dash autoloader. This won't right. autocomplete because there's nothing there, of course. Yes. Um, okay. um, yeah, so this is all relative paths, right? Because we don't have a slash in front of it. We're saying we are in WP content. Go in the thing called Pressbooks, find this file, move it to this place. So yeah. Cool. Um, all right. Um, and um, yeah, let's go in that MU plugins folder just to um, satisfy my anxiety. Great. Um, <laughs> that looks good. It. So let's go back up, and we're going to go into the themes folder next. OK. And to be clear, too, if someone was doing this and is like not OK with the command line at all for whatever reason, first I say, it's not that scary. Yeah, <laughs> um, I can do it. Yeah. And uh, the great thing about doing it in like something like Reclaim Cloud is the worst case scenario, you have to delete some stuff, right? And yeah. start over. Um, that's the worst thing that can happen. But anyway, um, you could do this via SFTP, right? Like you could unzip everything on your computer and then like use an SFTP client. We have documentation on using SFTP with Reclaim Cloud. It's a lot slower because SFTP is very slow when it's dealing with like a lot of little files, and that's exactly yeah. what this is. So that's why we're doing it this way. Yeah. Makes sense. Cool. Um, all right. So now we're going to download the two Pressbooks um, uh, themes. Yeah. And um, the one of them is called Book, and one of them is called Aldean. That's the um, like front end, um, I think, right? Um, I don't actually know. It seems like that's what the front end is. but Probably. Yeah. So um, let's start with Book. I'll get that link here. I just copied it. I'm going to throw it in our private chat so you Got can get it. access to it and let's do w get that link okay great let's unzip that 
That's just press books, books. Yeah. Or is it just? Uh, you can hit tab from there and it should okay. grab it. And we're going to do the other one too, um, which um, is, sorry, we just did book. So I need Aldi mm -hmm. now. Cool. I don't know that we've ever done StreamYard stuff where we're flipping back between people's screens, but this actually works pretty nice. Yeah. Um, so, um, okay, so you just downloaded that one too. Let's unzip that one. Okay. Great. And then finally, let's get rid of our zip files. And so we can just do rm sp uh, as uh, asterisk okay. <laughs> dot zip. So that'll get rid of all the zip Beautiful. files. Great. And let's LS to make sure we <laughs> did everything. Looks good. Awesome. Looks good. One of the things they mentioned in the Pressbooks documentation is that themes have to have theme name without like a version number on the end of it. Um, by the way that they have zipped these up, that is already how they unzip, but just worth mentioning. Um, it, you can't have like Pressbooks dash LD point zero zero one two, you know. So gotcha. uh, we're all good. But um, if someone was doing this via SFTP, that might be something you'd have to worry about. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so we are theoretically done with command line um, cool. for now. So what we need to do is go uh, back into WordPress. And I'm gonna flip back over to the instructions for a second. And um, so we're just gonna have to do, we're gonna have to network, network activate the Pressbooks plugin and do some stuff with themes. I'm not gonna go through all this because it's, most of it's pretty straightforward actually. Um, but yeah, so uh, network activate Pressbooks theme. There we go, it's red. Beautiful. That's oh, it's like home. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, we also need to go to um, the themes, yep. I was just checking for a second to make sure that we are actually in the network, not like a subset, right? That's yeah, we're in the that's network. where we are. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, and um, yeah, we're gonna network active enable Aldine and uh, McLuhan, 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 McLuhan. Um, okay, and then um, so a couple of things. Really, that's kind of it. Like we have press books wow. now. Um, so the the rest of this is. Um, they're having us going to settings and to look at our registration settings, which we will want to do. So like for this, we probably don't want anyone to be able to register a account, but yeah. if you're doing a real one for like an institution, you, you may want people to be able to log into it. Um, so that, that those options are in there. There's all kinds of other options in here in terms of, um, you know, uploading size that max upload file size is real small, yeah. um, but uh, you know, things that you would wanna check out. Um, the other thing it uh, recommends is to go to um, the dashboard for our, not our network admin, but the network homepage. So that would be under hello world then dashboard. So first of all, I guess we could change this too. So if you go to settings um, and then, yeah, I probably wanna change the site title. Cool. And um, so why don't you save that? And then we'll go to uh, appearance and we'll make sure that um, Alden is, all right, it's already active. So yeah, let's go to the front, front end of the site and make sure it looks the way we expect. Sweet. Beautiful. So that's a basic Pressbooks install. Um, we haven't added any books or anything, but you know, that would be, um, the next thing that you could do, but we're really done with the actual install part. Awesome. So thank you. Yeah, no problem. Um, so Great. I want to talk ahead because I do want to do a follow-up stream at some point on the other stuff with press. For sure. because definitely most people are going to want to get into this. We're not going to have time to do it today, but, um, but uh, a couple things. So, um, the this is all under part three the dependencies yeah. um when we return for another stream when we when <laughs> we've had more time to test some things um we'll probably do a clone 
of our press books um, install so that we can make sure that if we break anything, we don't have to actually reset up press books. Right. Um, or most, most likely I will do that when I'm testing. So I just wanted to mention that that's something we can do in Reclaim Cloud is we can clone the environment, test in there, and then when whatever works, we can replicate on our real press books install, right? Yeah. Um, and um, so Prince XML is going to be the big one. That's for PDF export. Um, my understanding is this version 12 is based on a little bit of asking around I've done um, that maybe that's not accurate. <laughs> um, I've heard some folks say that 14.2 is a version you want to use. I'm not sure if there's an actual like it doesn't work on 12 or it's just you could be using a newer version than 12. So that's something I'm gonna have to test. Um, EPUB checks, so that's um, for EPUB validation. Um, and uh, so that's um, something we'll look at here. Um, XML val validation, so XM lint. The one tricky thing with this is this is saying, hey, you can just install it with apt-get. That will work on Debian and Ubuntu for Linux distributions, we are not using that. Um, the WordPress standalone kit we are using is, it's kind of CentOS, it's not actually CentOS, mm -hmm. but it's similar. So it has a different package manager. So that's gonna be something I'm gonna have to look at, like is this package here actually available for us or do we have to install it a different way? And theoretically, we could have done this all in Ubuntu or Debian, but then we would have had to actually you know, the, 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 I think like roughly 20 minutes this actually took us to do with some explanation, um, would have been much longer because we would have had to spin up a Linux server, install and configure MariaDB or MySQL, install and configure Apache, install and configure PHP, mm -hmm. manually install WordPress, set up a database, all of that we would have done much slower process. So, um, yeah, <laughs> install and configure the network. So this ultimately, I think long-term is gonna be a lot easier for us to recommend say, hey, you can skip all of that, do the install installation of Word, uh, uh, Pressbooks, sorry, and then install these couple dependencies. And here's how you do that in this environment, I think is a much cleaner way forward for folks who would wanna do this on Reclaim Cloud. So this is the stuff we have to research a little bit, um, but, yeah, um, I'm kind of excited. I'm excited that even just the basic press books without all of the uh, fancy parts is relatively simple to get forward once we're running the right WordPress version and PHP version and everything. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm super stoked. Yeah, um, so um, if anyone finds this useful, please let us know. Um, and uh, I don't, I don't have any, we don't have any plans yet because it's all going to depend on when we can find version to test these thing, uh, time to test these versions of things, yes. words. Um, but uh, at some point we'll do a revisit and get all that fancy stuff set up. And don't worry, we will be back because this is something that I'm going to be hounding Taylor about because. Sounds good. Yeah. So. <laughs> Sweet. All right, well, I'm going to turn the stream off, but thanks anyone who was watching. We did have some uh, helpful stuff in the chat, so that was oh, good. Yeah, great. Um, yeah, and um, see everybody next time.